Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Baxter. I'm a software engineer at IBM. And today I'd like to give you a quick demo of embedded experiences and how um, application developers can start using embedded experiences in their applications today. So first a little bit about the demo. Uh, this demo was given at Rotosphere 2012 uh, during a show and tell 115 session. Um, the slides and resources for that show and tell can be downloaded from uh, this uh, WordPress URL. Um, this demo is also based off an existing X page application um, that we've added embedded experiences to. Um, and if you follow this bit.ly URL, you can head out to uh, the original X page application. And the, X page, the original X page application was developed by Mike McGarrell. Um, he developed it as part of the second X Pages uh, development contest. Uh, so we just took this application and uh, modified it a little bit to start sending embedded experiences. Uh, so I'd like to give some credit to Mike uh, for doing that. Um, secondly, I'd like to give some credit to uh, Stanton Sievers, who co-presented the session with me at Lotusphere. Uh, so, see, so he also helped out with some of these uh, demos. So. First, uh, I'd like to just quickly go over what embedded experiences is. So at a high level, embedded experiences basically allows you to embed the experience you would get in one application in another application. So imagine you, for example, uh, want to take a the commenting experience you would get in a photo sharing application. And you wanted to take that and put it in um, your blog, for example, or um, you wanted to put it uh, in in an email or you wanted to put it in an activity stream for example you could use you could do that by but by, by a, a embedded experience um, you, so you build the embedded experience to just contain the functionality uh, and kind of get the similar experience you would get out on the full photo sharing application uh, so just get the commenting experience out of that and you take that embedded experience and you place it in your activity stream or in your email or uh, anywhere else you want to put it and the way we do that uh, is using a technology called Open Social. So embedded experiences is basically built on top of Open Social, and um, it's part of the Open Social specification. So in the way we will uh, be servicing embedded experiences uh, from an IBM Collaboration Solutions perspective is inside of uh, Notes and Domino Social Edition, which is the next release of Notes and Domino. Uh, as well as in uh, Connections Next. So I'll be showing you both of those uh, in this demo. So <clears throat> to demo this, uh, let's let's set up a, a sample scenario. So in this scenario, imagine you are an, an event organizer, and you're using the uh, event signup application from OpenNTF as your event registration system. So uh, you direct, you basically direct people to the uh, event signup application in order for them to find out more information about the event and allow them to register. And by using the event signup application, you can easily communicate information to people and uh, allows you to keep track of who's going to be attending the event. And your goal as an event organizer is basically to get as many people as you want, as you can, to attend the event. Uh, that way, the company who's hiring you to uh, run the event. Is, uh, is impressed and, and hires you get to do future events for them as well. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the, uh, the existing application as it is today uh, when you download it from OpenNTF. So I'll head out to Google Chrome here. And in this case, in this uh, demonstration, we'll, we'll have a fictional event on X pages and Open Social. Uh, so you can see your, here's the, the event signup application. Uh, the home tab basically gives you some general information, or you can customize it, but it, in this case it gives you some general information about the event. Uh, there's a details tab where you can get some more details about the event. In this case we just have the when, the where, the address, uh, basic location information about the event. There's also a rules tab, a previous uh, tab, and a contacts tab. We're not using these in, in this demonstration, but if you had rules for your um, 
your event, you can specify them on the rules tab. If there are previous occurrences of the event, you can specify them on the previous tab, and then any contact information will go in the contact tab. But the most uh, useful tab in this in this demonstration is actually the registration tab. So this allows you to, as someone who's interested in attending the event, to register for the event, to let the event organizer know you're attending. So in this in this case, let's play the role of uh, Matthew Pierpont, a developer um, who is interested in atten attending the event. So he'll register. He fills out his name and his email address, which is mpierpont at notesdev.ibm.com. He doesn't have a Twitter ID, but it's not required, so it's not a big deal. Uh, so he can click register, and he uh, gets a nice message saying that uh, he's been registered for the event, and he should get an email, and his name now appears in the list. So Matt will go to his uh, email client here, in this case notes, and uh, open up his email. And he has a, a new email here uh, that was just received. Um, which looks like the which looks like the confirmation email, so he can open that up, and it basically gives him a, a basic confirmation email saying this email confirms your registration, and look forward to having you at the event. So that's good. The other thing I'd like to show you is just the uh, that there is a mobile version of the event signup application. Uh, in this case, I'm just showing it in a, a small browser window, but you can go to home, for example, and view all the uh, the information that's on the home page, uh, and you can go to registration and even register right from the mobile version as well. So let's head back to the slides here. So what are some potential problems or issues that with the, with the scenario we just saw, right? So me as Matt Pierpont, I get a lot of email, right? And the event is weeks away. So I can easily you know, lose this confirmation email, but maybe I remember that I'm attending this event a little while later and I want to come back and I go and find the confirmation email hopefully, hoping that it's going to have some more information about the event, um, but it doesn't, right? Um, it just says it's a nice confirmation. Or it just tells you that your confirmation, uh, your registration has been confirmed. Um, then I need to, then I, now I need to go find a link to the, to the the event sign-up application and go out there to actually find any information about the event. So that's kind of a pain. From, from an event organizer point of view, the notification email doesn't really help me achieve my goal of having a well-attended event, right? Um, it's hard, you know, my goal is to really spread word about the event and get as many people as possible to attend the event, um, but I don't really I don't really, uh, you know, the, the notification email doesn't necessarily help me in that. Um, there, there's nothing there for them to kind of share any information about the event with anyone else. Um, so it kind of doesn't necessarily help me in that, in that regard. And the email's content is static. So, you know, maybe the email did include the, the date and time of the event, but it's static content, right? If I change it later on, then, or I change the time or something like that, or I change the location, I have to send an email back to all the people who are registered and um, have them <clears throat> have them uh, you know notified of this update and and, and it's kind of a, a pain for me as an event organizer to do that. But if we used an embedded experience we could eliminate a lot of these problems, right? So an embedded experience allows you to provide a much better email experience, right? It's almost like email 2.0. You can use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript uh, in your embedded experience. So normal MIME emails at least let you use HTML and CSS, but it doesn't allow you to use JavaScript. So now you're, with embedded experiences, your, your content is active. Um, it can change. It's dynamic. Um, it's a lot more, uh, a lot better experience for the end user. And and basically, you can also, by using embedded experience, allow the user to register for the event right from their email or activity stream. So um, I can provide an embedded experience to people um, that maybe I'm just notifying of the event that allows them to register right there without ever having to leave the context of their, of their uh, application they're using. So that's one of the benefits of embedded experience, right? It keeps you in context. It doesn't uh, force you to leave. Normally, 
someone would send you a link to something or you'd get a link in your activity stream and you click on it and you have to go to some other application. But with embedded experiences, it keeps you right there in the application you're using at that, at that time and doesn't allow you to get lost doing something else. So from a business perspective, that's very useful, right? Because you want your employees to be um, not getting distracted and not having to context switch all the time. It makes you more productive. It makes your employees more productive. And we can basically use uh, open social, since embedded experiences is based on open social. We can use open social to build social, social business apps, right? We can start to incorporate some of the social features of open social into our app, into our embedded experience that allows us to kind of spread word about the event and help us achieve our goal of having as many people as possible attend the event, right? So open social has built-in APIs that allows us to post the user's activity stream and get their network contacts. So but those two pieces of information, or those two, those two pieces of functionality, will allow us to help spread, uh, spread word about our event. So let's take a look at the event sign-up application using embedded experience. So here, <clears throat> in a different tab in my browser, I have pretty much the same exact event sign up. It looks exactly the same to the, the person using the application, but under the cover, it's covers, it is sending embedded experience emails. So I'm going to head over to the registration tab. And I'm going to register again. So again, I'll fill out my name, which is Matthew Pierpont. And my email is mpierpont at notesdev.ibm.com. Then I don't have a Twitter ID, but it's not needed, so I can just click register. Get the same message I did before, but now when Matt heads to his email client and refreshes his inbox uh, and opens the email, we see that Matt has a much better experience, right? The, uh, the same uh, notification uh, that he got in his original email is here, but the email is themed just like the application. Right? It's a, just a more appealing email than it was before. Uh, if I scroll down to the bottom, we can see the email now has the when, where, and address. Uh, and this is dynamically pulled from the application. So if the application, uh, if the event organizer had to change the time of when the event's taking place, this email would automatically update to reflect that. And you wouldn't have to send out a new email with a new time. Um, so that's one of the benefits here, right? The One of the benefits of using JavaScript allows me to um, to pull information dynamically from other, other sources of information. In this case, we can pull it from the XPage application. And I even get this nice Google map of where the event's going to take place. And this is active content, so I can you know, switch to the satellite view if I wanted to. I can head back to the map view. I can zoom in uh, on where the event's taking a place. I can scroll around on the map if I want to. So this is really useful right, in, right inside my email. In addition to that, at the top we see some, some interesting things uh, for the user to do, right? The first thing we see is, uh, is something letting the user know that they should tell everyone in their network that they're attending the event and allows them to share. There's a nice green share button, right? So by clicking on this, since we're, we're also using Connections Next, uh, clicking the share button will post something to Matt's activity stream using the open social APIs. So I can click share, and I get a message saying activity posted. Now let me head over to connections next, and I'll log in as Matt. And in Matt's activity stream here, we can see there is a new event posted uh, to his activity stream at 1.21 PM, which is right now. Um, it says uh, that Matt is registered for the event, uh, X pages and open social. So anyone who's following Matt would see this in their activity stream as well. And, and, that, uh, and not only does it tell them that, they're, they're, that Matt has registered for the event, um, if you click on it, you get a nice embedded experience. And this embedded experience should actually look familiar uh, to everyone because it's actually the mobile version of the X page application. So I was able to reuse the mobile version of my XPage application as the embedded experience that gets used in the activity stream. Um, and this is really cool because it allows people who are following Matt to not only see that he registered for the event, but it can also allow them to register 
uh, allows them to register for the event right there from their embedded experience without ever having to leave connections or go to the full app. They can do it right from their embedded experience. So, <clears throat> and this helps from an event from the event organizer's point of view because um, people who are following that are likely interested in X pages and open social, so they're more likely to register for the event, and it's an easy way to start spreading word to other developers who are probably interested in the same topics. Um, so this is really useful for the for the uh, for the event organizer. Now, if we head back to uh, Matt's email here. We also see that the second thing in this email is it wants us to suggest other people who may be interested in this event. So here uh, the embedded experience is using the open social APIs to pull Matt's network contacts. Um, so there's APIs uh, as, that are part of open social that allow you to get this information. In this case, again, because we're using, uh, we're integrated with Connections Next, we're pulling the network contacts for Matt from Connections Next. And Matt knows that uh, Fernando is actually also interested in XPages and Open Social, so he's going to suggest to us, us being the the, XP, uh, the event organizer, that we should also email Fernando about the event because he's probably going to be interested in attending it. So I can click on Fernando, and it says an email is sent to Fernando. So again, this is another way to help uh, spread word about the event to other people who are probably interested. And it's using the power of uh, social in order to help uh, do that, right? Getting, we're posting to the activity stream, we're getting the person's network contacts. We're using the person's relationships with these other people in his network in order to spread word about the event. <clears throat> so let's head over to uh, Fernando's email. In this case, Fernando uses uh, iNotes, so here we'll show iNotes Social Edition. And uh, log in as Fernando. And in Fernando's in inbox here, we have uh, a nice email saying that uh, Matt Pierpont has suggested you register with the event X pages in Open Social. So Fernando's really interested by that. He can open it up. And he gets uh, pretty much this, uh, another embedded experience here that looks very similar to the uh, registration um, X page. And is, in fact, it is a simplified version of the registration X page from the event. Uh, the event sign up app. So Fernando, right here from his email, again in the embedded experience, not ever having to leave his inbox, can register for the event. So he can uh, fill out his name, Fernando Brion, and his email uh, address is fbrion at notes.ibm.com. And he will click register. Gets the same confirmation. Now if he ed heads back to his inbox and refreshes, he has his confirmation email, the same confirmation email he would have gotten if he had signed up out on the application in a web browser. So he'll open that up. And we see that he gets the same confirmation email that uh, Matt has gotten. Right? It looks exactly the same. The only difference being a different set of network contacts. Right? So we're using at this time, we're pulling uh, contacts for, for Fernando instead of Matt, because Fernando is the currently logged in user. Um, and uh, But otherwise, the email looks pretty much the same. And we, now Fernando can do the same thing. He can share, and he can suggest other people who may be interested in attending the event and help spread word to people in his network. right? So you can hear see how this is uh, kind of virally spreading information about the event uh, to other people. So, in summary, in Notes and Domino Social Edition uh, will basically allow you to render these embedded experience emails. Um, and as well, in Notes and Domino Social Edition, we integrate the power of open social to allow app developers to build social business apps, right? So you saw two examples of some of the APIs we were using are part of open social in order to, in this case, spread word about our event, right? We use the activity stream APIs as well as the, uh, the open social people APIs in order to um, suggest people and as well as post things to the activity stream. You also saw in Connections Next that you'll also be allowed to render embedded experiences in the activity stream. So applications can post information to the activity stream as our embedded experience did. 
um, that includes embedded experiences and uh, end users who are using browsing the activity stream uh, can, can then render those embedded experiences there. And the best part about this is you can start building these enhancements to your applications today. Um, so you don't need Notes and Domino Social Edition to start modifying your applications to start sending these things. The only thing you need Notes and Domino Social Edition for or Connection to the Next for would be to render them. And since most of this is built on top of open source technology, there are um, applications out there and uh, test applications out there such as the Open Social Sandbox that allow you to test the embedded experiences that you build today. Uh, so that when your when Notes and Domino Social Edition is released and when Connection to the Next is released, um, you'll be uh, ready to go with your embedded experiences and really start leveraging the power of open social. Uh, so that's that's all I have to show today. I look forward to your feedback. Feel free to comment on the video or comment on the blog post. Um, and thanks again.